I'm Ken McDill. For the 2015-16 English Premier League season, the 20 EPL teams received a combined $370 million from the companies who contracted to serve as jersey sponsors. More amazing than that is that the 2015-16 total jumped more than 30% from the previous season. From electronic companies to the country of United Arab Emirates, EPL jersey sponsors find it worthwhile to kick in between $10 million and $20 million per team per year to have their names emblazoned across the chest of that league's soccer players. And that's just for one league. The amount paid for jersey sponsorships in Europe's top six leagues last year reached $931 million, a 13% increase over the previous year. While soccer's American counterpart, Major League Soccer, allows teams to display advertising on their jerseys, no major U.S. sport has done so yet. The National Basketball Association, however, has voted to accept jersey patches to be worn on team, pl team playing shirts for the 2017-18 season. Does any of this matter? It is, after all, just another opportunity for advertisers to take advantage of the popularity of American pro sports at a time when every timeout is sponsored, every square inch of visible space is covered in ads, and players use their post-title game speeches to give thanks to their sponsors. But it does matter in one significant way. I'm a huge fan of soccer in general and of the European soccer leagues in specific. The only real problem I have with the sport is that I don't know which team is which because there's no indication of the team name on the jerseys other than on the tiny breast patch which carries the team crest. If I don't know what the team's crest looks like and I don't have a way to zoom in on the crest on a jersey as the players are running from one end of the field to the other on my TV screen, I am in confusion. This problem has been allevi alleviated a bit by the TV networks covering the games. In recent years, the networks have used the tiny inset scoreboard to let viewers know which team is which by colorizing the team's abbreviation to match the jersey color they are wearing that day. But still, it would help to have the team's city or mascot emblazoned across the chest, the way they are in the NBA, the NFL, Major League Baseball, and the NHL. At present, the NBA's suggestion is for patch patches similar to the ones the NBA allowed their All-Star Game teams to wear in New York this year. The league sold rights to that tiny space near the left shoulder to automobile manufacturer Kia, and all hell did not break loose as a result. Thus the move to let teams do it. For the time being, no one expects Major League Baseball or the National Football League to follow suit. MLB uniforms are a bit time-honored, and they only put on patches to remember the recently departed baseball heroes. The NFL simply has no need to add advertising to its jerseys. But the NBA must try to keep the jersey ads down to the size of a shoulder or breast patch, because I don't want to ever see a game in which I don't know which team is the Toronto Raptors and which team is the Sacramento Kings. I'm Ken McDill. Thanks for watching.